Hello, my name's Jim Cole. We're going to have a little look at follicular plugging um, with mainly emphasis on the histology. It's not a, a major diagnostic histological feature, but there are some conditions that are um, characterized by it. And these are the main ones here, discoid lupus, lichen sclerosis, pityriasis rupa pilaris, keratosis pilaris. I think also lichen spinulosis um, should be added there as well. So we'll initially um, concentrate on the histological slides here. The first one we've got is uh, discoid lupus. Let's have a look. Now, here you can see the follicular plugging here. There's the follicle, and there's quite a bit of inflammation around that follicle. It'll be a lymphocytic infiltrate because in lupus, you generally have a mild lichenoid infiltrate here. Um, the lichenoid infiltrate also involves the hair follicles and sometimes some of the other adnexal structures as well. It's usually a superficial and deep perivascular infiltrate in, uh, in lupus. And the follicular plugging is just a, a minor additional feature that you may see. This case obviously has uh, quite a bit of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation um, associated with it. Clinically, discoid lupus is um, like this. This is an example with really very marked um, scale formation. And if we look at this one in full size, you can see the extent of the scale. There's sometimes a bit of post-inflammatory pigmentation around the outside of uh, these lesions, and this is a late lesion that we're seeing here. The scale, when you lift it off, it'll sometimes show the, the um, what's called a carpet tag sign, where this is coming right out from the base here and is stuck onto the undersurface of the of the scale. But um, that's the histology of discoid lupus and follicular plugging. Next condition that can show um, a bit of follicular plugging is lichen sclerosis. Now, this is the virtual slide of it here. Um, it's a sort of shaved lesion here. You can see the follicular plugging in this portion here with the overlying orthokeratosis. And this is collagen that's laid down in the papillary dermis. Your inflammatory infiltrate is often below this, um, and it's only just being caught in the shave biopsy that's been done here. Um, sometimes you'll get a sufficient damage in lichen sclerosis at the dermoepidermal junction here to cause separation and splitting of the epidermis, a bit of, uh, um, a bit of hemorrhage into it. You can see there's almost a little bit of splitting occurring here. But this is the follicular plugging that you can see in lichen sclerosis. Now, clinically, um, lichen sclerosis looks like this. This is extragenital. Um, if we have a closer look at uh, this area here, you get the feeling you can see the follicles accentuated here. There's often thinning, wrink wrinkling of the overlying skin, a little bit of... Um, purple erythema around the outside uh, of this area as well. But this is extragenital lichen sclerosis. Uh, but again, follicular plugging is part of it. Next condition to look at is pityriasis rubra pilaris, P-I-L-A-R, pilaris. Um, pityriasis rubra pilaris is a psoriasis sort of lookalike, and it usually begins with scaled and scalp, spreads onto the face, and spreads onto the body. Lesions on the back of the hands and back of the neck will sometimes show a real follicular uh, origin. You'll get small follicular papules there that ultimately join together to form a large plaque. Now, this is the histopathology here um, of Pityriasis rupert pilaris. We'll look at this particular one. We'll just rotate this round a little bit. We'll go for this one. Here you can see the plugging of a follicle here. 
In PRP, you usually get alternating ortho and parakeratosis, and you may get that both horizontally and vertically here. But that's not the element that we're mainly looking at. There's a degree of psoriasiform hyperplasia here as well, so there's a bit of acanthosis. Um, but when you see follicular plugging, it's uh, it's that sort of series of conditions: discoid lupus, lichen sclerosis, pityriasis, rubra pilaris, and the alternating ortho and parakeratosis vertically and horizontally um, helps to uh, make that make that diagnosis uh, clinically. Pitonasis rubra pilaris, usually in adults. This is a childhood variant of it. You often get islands of sparing, but you're not seeing that so much there. This image down here probably shows the follicular plugging side of it. Um, you can see the follicular papular nature of it here at first. These multiply, join up, and start to form the large uh, plaques like this. But uh, if you were to biopsy one of these, you may well see a little bit of follicular plugging like this. Next condition we're going to look at is keratosis pilaris. Now, that's not an uncommon condition that's referred to dermatologists. They usually diagnose clinically. It's rare for them to actually biopsy it. It's usually seen in the outer aspects of the arms or on the thighs. There's a bit of perifollicular erythema and there's a little plug of keratin in the middle of the hair follicle. And this is the histopathology of it here. If it was to be biopsied, again, the little keratin plug in here with some parakeratosis uh, in this little keratin plug. Nothing much in the way of, um, well, very little in the way of erythema or the like round about it here. Um, sometimes some dilated vessels to correspond with the perifollicular erythema that you'll see. And clinically, this looks, oh, this is three examples, we'll perhaps just go to this one here. And you can see the small um, keratotic nature of this. Not sure if we can get this full size. The, the, you can often feel the little plug at the surface here much better than you perhaps can see it in, in that particular case. Um, we'll go back and have a quick look at one of the others. Let's look at um, this one here. Okay, you can see the little plug. See the little plug of keratin here, just on the surface. So there's that little bit of acanthosis corresponding to what you're seeing around the outside and the little plug of keratin in the middle of this, um, this area here. So keratosis pilaris. The last condition I want to mention is lichen spinulosis. Um, I'll just show you a couple of clinical features. It's The distribution is mm, different from that of keratosis pilaris, but it has some similar um, sort of features. And it is a follicular keratotic disorder. This is, um, you know, they've, they've got them cross-related here, keratosis pilaris, lichen spinulosis. And there is certainly a similarity to the spicules. In uh, lichen spinulosis, they're a lot more prominent than they are in keratosis pilaris. But you can see the histopathology is uh, is somewhat similar. Um, I might just, let me just see if I can bring up this particular section here in this condition. Hmm. haven't got the, the picture, my apologies. These were some other images uh, here. You can still see that follicular plugging. So it, uh, and, and the lesions are a lot more diffuse than uh, you're seeing in keratosis pilaris. Um, so worthwhile thinking of this condition when you're seeing marked follicular uh, plugging as well. So I hope that's helped. Thanks very much.